Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. You're listening to another life-changing word from Pastor Kelly Anderson. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. I have a scripture for you today for this service. It's uh, Psalm 65 and verse 11. It says, you crown the year with your goodness and your paths drift with abundance. You crown the year. You know that the world, the pattern in the world is always to look at the lack and, and to see that there's not enough. But God has abundance and he has goodness for you. In fact, the word says that surely goodness will and his mercy will follow you. It'll actually chase you down. You know that follow you, it means it will pursue you. It will chase you down. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And it goes on to say, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What an amazing scripture that is. But his goodness and his abundance. And, and so this is a year of great abundance for you. This is, a great, this is a year where mercy and his goodness and unmerited favor shall follow you. Down. It will pursue you and it will chase you down. Um, when you were growing up, were, were, did you ever, were you ever scolded for not eating um, all the vegetables on your plate or maybe um, leaving lights on when you left the room or maybe a fan on, right? Maybe, maybe um, you know, like, have you ever been told, you know, you need to eat all your food, there's starving kids in Africa and, you know, like, electricity costs money and that, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. See, you're tracking with me right here. <laughs> you know, we're, we're kind of um, conditioned to look at the lack, but Jesus never saw lack. In every situation that Jesus was in, he always saw the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God is abundance. And the word says that as he is, so are we in this world. So there's a, there's a tapping and there's a revelation that we can get when we tap into the kingdom of God in our lives. When we tap into seeing how Jesus sees things. So when Jesus was given five loaves and two fish in his hands, he didn't look at that in his hands and say, what am I supposed to do with so little? He didn't see that. He didn't see the natural. He didn't see the lack. What he saw that moment is he saw into the kingdom of God. He saw into abundance in that moment. And in his hands, things were multiplied. See, goodness and mercy are always going to follow you. It's going to pursue you. It's going to chase you down. Just as I was giving you the example of the, the spot on my cheek, you know, his goodness and his mercy and his abundance was chasing me down in that moment. And in that moment, what I needed to do was to step into the kingdom of God in that moment and bring into my natural, into my reality, what God truly has for me in this life. See, God truly has abundance for you in this life. God truly has forgiveness. He has wholeness. He has peace. He has prosperity in mind for you in this life. But there is a, a point that you have to look at the natural and say, I'm not looking at the natural. I'm going to go ahead and look into the supernatural in my life. Can I get an amen right now? Hallelujah. So I declare this year is a year of abundance for you. I declare that this year is a year of prosperity for you. I declare that this year is an overflow for you in the name of Jesus. And we just receive you have for us, Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus. We just give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 